This is called the dark shimmering deep for all the prophets in rags. And by that I mean the people you meet on the street who for one set reason or another are dispossessed. They don't have a home, uh, they don't have the proper medical care, whatever. And they come up and they tell you things that sound prophetic. And who knows, maybe they are prophets. The dark shimmering deep for all the prophets in rags. And this is in their voice. I walk a wilderness of concrete streets. I speak to the wind. I cry out to the sky. And if heard at all, I have never heeded. I have seen how thin is the line and how frail the membrane between us, between the light and the dark, shimmering entity ripping the membrane. Oh, I have gone too far and have seen too much, have stepped into that too near night and seen the dark, shimmering deep at its heart. I have been to the heart of that place, have been taken into its enchanted arms, and I'm not yet free nor ever will be. I stand at the gate to that glorious garden barred by crested iron from going farther into the light flooding its farthest reach. I stand at the gate to a garden of darkness as it draws me back, cling to that iron gate between me and the sunlit garden just beyond. I walk the streets of the city crying out a warning. I stand before the masses moving toward the dark beyond the swelling membrane. I speak to the wind, I cry out to the sky, and if heard at all, I am never heeded. I walk a wilderness of concrete streets. I do not know who is walking beside me, and I do not hear the voice so near to me. I am blinded and do not know this garden. I think I walk through the garden alone, but it seems that someone walks with me, and it seems that someone talks with me. I have not walked at all in this garden, nor that. A prophet in the wilderness, I stand between two worlds and cry out. I feel in my hands the cold of iron bars, and my eyes burn with the light beyond as the darkness pulls my heart and soul. I walk the streets of the city, crying out a warning, yet still the masses swell and press endless into that dark, shimmering, deep night. I am invisible. I am unheard. I am a prophet crying out in the wilderness. I am nothing to those who seek the light through darkness. It is done. I cling to this great iron gate as worlds fall away from me, as worlds fall and crash into chaos and darkness, and I cry. I cry to the sky. I speak to the wind. I walk a wilderness of concrete streets, and have heard it all. I have never hated.